this is What Mountain Bikes Trail Bike of the Year 2016 test. Today we're looking at the Da Vinci Troy Carbon RS. It's a bike which we had in the test last year and this year has had some slight changes to the way it's set up which we think addresses some of the issues which we highlighted last year. We'll have more on that later but what we have here is a 140mm trail bike with a 150mm fork up front which is one of the few full carbon bikes in the test which is based around Dave Weigel's split pivot design. This gives a really nice stable platform for pedalling but also performs really well when the trail points down. Along with being one of the few full carbon bikes in the test, it's also one of the few with boost spacing, the 148mm spacing at the back. And it also actually comes with a lifetime warranty for the carbon frame. SRAM's components make quite a big showing on the Troy Carbon this year. We've got a Pike RC up front, which lacks the bells and whistles of the RCT3, but it's still an incredibly capable fork. And it's got a Monarch RT3 rear shock with a debonair air can, which means it's got a little bit extra volume for slightly better control. When it comes to stop and go, we've got a mix of affairs here. So SRAM provide their GX group set for dependable, relatively budget priced, but still great performing gears. And then we've got Shimano's M615 brakes, which aren't the sort of the, the highest spec brakes out there, but they're hugely reliable and they're actually a brake that we're really happy to see on a trail bike. Looking at the spec list, there's a number of actual quite nice touches in there. So we've got a race face effect crank set in there with a 32 ring. It's relatively light, nice and stiff, and is really priced quite well. We've got 780mm wide bars, which give plenty of leverage in technical situations and plenty of sort of room for your chest to open out for when you're hauling up a steep climb. And then we've got some triple compound Maxxis tyres, and again, this is sort of what we're really looking for on a good trail bike is a decent pair of tyres. So Da Vinci have done well to spec these tyres. So I'm going to pass over to Guy Kesteven, who's going to tell you a little bit more about how the bike rides. Vinci have really put the cat among the pigeons uh, in terms of pricing this year, with a really, really aggressive policy uh, to compete with online internet brands, but they're still available from local dealers, which is a very neat trick to pull off. That means you're getting a really, really sorted, solid carbon frame with a lifetime warranty for the price of most alloy bikes here. If you're looking for carbon to save you weight and maybe you know, give you a flyweight climbing killer, then the Da Vinci Troy isn't the bike you're after. It's weighty for a carbon frame, but like we say, there's a lifetime warranty there and it is absolutely rock solid on the trail. Interesting, it's got a really well damped and very quiet feel. If you look, flick through the videos compared to some of the other bikes here, it is quiet when you're hammering down the trail and that's exactly how it feels to ride as well. It almost hides just its strength at first. First couple of runs down, we didn't, you know, we weren't throwing it as aggressively as the other bikes, but then we worked with the shock a little bit and it, it dropped its shoulder and charged just as well as the others. Ironically, after saying it was too linear last year, we actually took a couple of the uh, volume spaces out of the rear Monarch shock to drop it slightly lower when we, when we got to France and wanted a more gravity orientated feel. That and 45mm stem and a 780mm bar on an extended chop tube properly turned it into a, the kind of ripper that you want out here on fantastic riding like this. The thing about the Da Vinci is, although they're obviously a very gravity focused company with riders like Stevie Smith on board, is how well it climbs as well. It's a complete all round package. The climbs around pay are long and they're taxing, but by God they're worth doing and the Da Vinci just made easy work of them. You never need to go for the compression lever. You just sit there, you rely on the massive amount of traction from those triple compound Maxxis tires, and you just sit there and wait for the descents to begin because you know the bike will be capable and you'll get there fresh. So that's the Da Vinci Troy Carbon RS. It's a carbon frame with a full lifetime warranty. It pedals really well and yet can still hammer the descents as well. So it's a really dependable trail bike. So we're covering 12 of our favourite Trail Bike of the Year bikes in this video series. But if you really want to know what the winner is straight away, then you can go and purchase What Mountain Bike Issue 186. It's on sale now and you can find links for Android and iOS in the description below.